friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to take you through an updated quiet time routine. I feel like I did one about three or four years ago now and life has just changed a lot. I actually have a boy now who's gonna be turning one very soon um, this week, which is just so precious and time and life has changed a lot and so has the way that I do my quiet time. And especially as it's Easter coming up, I thought I would do an update so that you can kind of know how you can incorporate maybe having your own quiet time routine, especially having a baby, you really just have to carve out time for yourself with God. It's just the most important part of my day. I started out with having a baby and just not knowing where I should, especially because every nap time I would just be like, I need to get stuff done. But then I realized what's most important is really that I just have time with God because I wasn't sure whether I should keep it in the mornings or whether I should swap it to the evenings. But for me, what works best is really just the mornings. And then I realized that during his nap time is really my personal favorite time because it just means that I can actually focus on God rather than while he's awake. I just don't feel like I can give God my full attention. And I have ever since I started doing that over the summer at some point, because this is at the time that Hunter started to take more regular timed naps because um, he was out of that newborn stage. So I'm just really loving how I'm doing my God time now. It lasts around 30 to 45 minutes um, during the day and then gives me time to either start breakfast or do whatever I um, want to do after that because we've been having more brunch than breakfast recently. But I always love to sit down with a cup of matcha, sometimes with a cup of tea, but mainly matcha because matcha is my favorite way to kind of start the day. And let me just take you through kind of how my quiet time routine kind of looks like at the moment. One thing I've really been loving is doing through the word. I know I mentioned this in my video years ago, but I absolutely love breaking down, breaking down every chapter in through the word. It's pretty great. I really love having this app called Logos or in Greek it'd be logos, which means word. I guess that's how you say it. Oh, if any Greek people are there, please correct me. <laughs> but I absolutely love it because I personally use Warren Wearsby's Exposition Bible Commentary. It's really kind of hard to find his Old Testament ones, but I have really been loving the B series for his Old Testament ones. So Warren Wearsby was what they call the pastor's pastor and his commentary is honestly just the best commentary I've ever come across and especially if there's anything that I'm like oh I really need to have a little bit of an explanation on this I think Wearsby's uh, exposition commentary is just the best it honestly is just incredible and through the word is just really lovely especially if you want to do it with friends I'm currently doing it with friends as well and how they break down every chapter I just really highly recommend that so let's just start it off I'm gonna go make my matcha and let's just do it together I come and I sit in what now I call my God chair. I just absolutely love it because it overlooks the lake and is just so peaceful and just beautiful to kind of have this awesome start to my day. I'll read in my physical Bible because I just feel like it's so much nicer to be off screens for this. So I love my physical Bible. It's actually the Jesus Bible by Passion City. I also love that they have 
commentaries on every chapter too. So I just absolutely love this Bible because it always relates back to Jesus and how every book kind of brings it back to Jesus. And of course it's in my favorite color, millennial pink. So <laughs> I love it. So I listen to through the word. I listen to that first and then I'll read through the chapter and kind of Think about what really stands out to me in that chapter and what either God is telling me or just a little bit about God's character and just what stands out to me about the chapter that I absolutely love. And then sometimes if I really feel like I need to break it down a little bit further, I'm gonna go into Logos or Logos, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I'm gonna go into it and read Warren Wiersbe's commentary. I just think it's just so good. And I just love to spend some time, yeah, just having a good old chat with God, which is just so nice to be able to have this in my morning. It honestly really just encourages and starts my day off properly. I'm the type of person who I really feel like I need to start the day off slowly. I don't like rushing in and, you know, I just need to have that slow start before I can actually kind of start my day. So that's why to me this is just so important to kind of start my day like this. You might want to do it at nighttime. That might work better for you depending on what your schedule looks like before you go to bed. I just personally find that I'm too tired by that point and I'll, I just want to switch off from the day. So I definitely find that it's so much easier to have it during the day when I'm starting my day because it also really sets me up for the day. It makes me feel a lot less anxious about whatever I'm worried about or anything that's just been coursing through my mind it just kind of helps me to be still and just really start my day off with I don't know just the peace of God and just really starting with a hopeful and just wonderful joyful look throughout my day it really sets up my mind in the right way I just feel like if you whenever you get more of God's Word it is just the most important thing and it really the more that he the more i get of god's word the more it just transforms my heart my life and my actions everything that i do is kind of based off of the more i receive from god because without god i just feel like i'm so anxious i am fearful or i just want to do things my own way and have control over it whereas especially having my quiet time in the morning, just starting it off with God just reminds me that I'm not in control and that's okay and that's good actually. <laughs> and also just, I don't know, like I said, just starting it off joyfully and starting it off, just giving it all to God and feeling like it's not all on my shoulders or being anxious about anything. So that's kind of what my morning routine with God is looking like. I wanna know what does your morning routine look like and yeah, what do you incorporate in your day? What do you love to read? I hope you have a lovely rest of your week and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.